<laughs> well, it's hand in YouTube. It's me again, Mr. G Madrid, just coming at you in another video. Um, after I, you know, dropped that 80 revives in one game, you know, going crazy in that, I kind of wanted to make a little tutorial on what I kind of use and how I play and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to go really too in depth on the weapons, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the ray gun and the sniper being, you know, max damage with, you know, insta kill and the ring of fire and all that stuff. So, you know, I feel like zombies right now isn't really all about like the weapon too much. Um, it's just, you know, I think a lot of weapons are really good. I mean, all you need is a triple pack and, you know, the f like full upgrade to the legendary with the thousand um, components or whatever. And, you know, your gun's pretty good. It'll at least get you to 40, you know, no problem. And um, so, yeah, I just don't feel like weapons are a big thing right now. I mean, I'll talk a little bit about it, you know, right now. A lot of people are using the knife just because you know it's consistent with getting the max points for every kill i'm pretty sure the knife and headshots both do um the same amount of damn or you get the same points for knifing or headshotting but obviously as the rounds go up um the more you know accurate you have to be with your shots because it won't just be one shot headshots versus a one stab you'll have to be hitting the shots repeatedly so as long as you're accurate uh it's going to be pretty pretty easy you know to keep the points about the same but it does get a lot harder as rounds go and the knife is one shot i think to up to like 10 or 14 and then once you upgrade it, it goes even higher something like that some ridiculous thing so you know knife for if you want to be consistent with the max points all the way up i mean if you prefer like me i like to have a gun just because i use that gun uh like i'll upgrade it all the way you know to the max uh, triple perk and the legendary upgrade to make it you know max damage and i kind of been playing around with different weapons to see what i like you know i traditionally went with the lmg because obviously it's 200 rounds and uh, i do build it for you know armor penetration uh, or armor damage so when you're fighting big elite dudes you're basically mowing them down but the thing is now that i know how to do the dire weapon or the die a shockwave weapon uh you know you kind of kill the big elite guys pretty easily with that weapon so i wouldn't even use an ar or really anything else but those uh shockwave weapons and early round and before you even have it they're pretty easy to kill you know you just laser them as a team together and it's a pretty easy thing to knock them down so I mean, your first weapon of choice really is up to you. If you want to go with the highest damage, you know, everyone knows about the sniper with insta-kill, ring of fire, headshot did like 1.5 million one shot. So that's been a pretty big talk with the sniper right now. Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty cool if you want the highest amount of damage, you know, one shot, headshot, 1.5 million, that's a lot of damage. So, you know, it's, you know, if you want the sniper and that's the max amount of damage you want, boom if you want to maximize points early round you know you go with the knife if you just like leveling up weapons you could really choose anything i would just go for as much damage as possible and make sure you put something on it that makes you hit all your headshots because that's really the most important thing with weapons right now so yeah but my main thing i really want to talk about was this um the aether shroud uh, this thing is insane. If you guys did watch my 80 revives video, um, I learned a couple of things while playing that using this. Um, one is if you know, at first I wasn't gonna max it all the way because it says you know activation instantly warps you forward a small distance, which I didn't really like because I wanted to activate it right on the body and just revive the body, you know, right then and there. But um, I noticed two things. One, if you can just really time that distance to the activation, it like saves you a lot of time to get to them to revive and to revive them. And then uh, the second thing I learned with this thing as well is you can actually uh, jump through walls. So if there's like, say you're surrounded and everyone's jumping on you and you need to get out of there quick, you can literally look at the wall next to you. And as long as there's something for you to go behind that, you're, you'll go through it, which was pretty cool because I actually had a friend down uh, in the middle building and he was about to die. And then I really didn't think it would work, but I gave it a shot. I was like, yo, let me see if I can get through this wall. Boom. And it went right through and I was really surprised. So this made me even love this even more, but I definitely would recommend getting a max, uh, at least go to two. Um, because that increased duration with speed revive, you're getting like two to three revives off if they're all bunched up together. So, you know, and then also it, 
not only is it good for reviving, but it's also good just to stay alive. Um, you know, if a bunch of zombie, zombies are on top of you, punching you, you literally teleport away, which saves you from getting hit as you're activating it. And then also, like I said, on top of that, it kind of will like, um, you can use it just to get out of that like that area completely you literally can go through a wall into another building where no one's there eight seconds to you know run off and then you know also the reload really helps too because once you activate and you got your full clip back um if your friend needs help like because obviously the zombies are going to run away but let's say you're next to somebody they're all going to rush him you instantly get that full clip back to help them keep them alive too so i really like the aether shroud uh, tier three a lot like I said, the fact that you can go through walls is huge, you know, a huge time saver, a huge way to escape, and a huge way to get somebody up if they're about to die. So, this is definitely my favorite thing. Um, since I've been leveling up, I did do the Ring of Fire and the Healing Aura, so I'm going to start playing with the, these two things too, um, a lot more. Now, since, you know, I've I mean, I don't really want to stop playing with this, honestly, because it's so good, but uh, I was playing with people with the healing roar, and it's like an AoE heal, which was pretty cool, you know, brought up everyone around you without dying, and it does like a passive healing, which I've noticed is pretty good as a team, so if you're like more of a team player like me, where you want to keep everyone alive and, you know, do your thing, and maybe getting trapped, or let's say, uh, like maybe running trains, you don't really get trapped, so you wouldn't need this for yourself, you're more looking to help everyone else around you. Um, I'm probably going to start using that for that reason right there because you know uh if your weapons are strong enough you know you should be able to get out of any situation basically so i'm going to be starting to use this and then also you know i've been wanting to like play with this because like i said i did recently learn about you know how much extra damage this does and um i did also want to test out to see if um here, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So with the ammo mods, I wanted to try this Napalm Burst too. So it says, initial burn effect deals 5% of enemies maximum health and fire damage, increases burn duration by 10 and doubles burn effect damage. So I wanted to test this out with also that Ring of Fire and see if they stack together and maybe that can even do more damage. So that's something I'm gonna also play with too. But yeah, I really just wanted to talk about this. And then also my favorite mod right now is the brain rot this is like what i put on every gun i don't really use the other three too much uh just because i've always been a fan of something killing stuff while i'm doing my own thing and as soon as you get a brain rot uh he's one shotting everything and he's just swinging on everybody so i've literally shot the first zombie in a full train and turned into a brain rot and then he just like every swing kills another zombie off off of me off after that as well so this is definitely my favorite out of all the tiers so far. Like I said, once I start playing with Ring of Fire, I will be starting to play with the uh, Napalm Blast. And, I mean, I don't really, like, these are cool. Like, the Shock and the Freeze, you know, it's more like crowd control instead of damage. But, like I said, I've always, I, I feel like this one's the best for me as of using all four. But I will be starting to use this with the Fire uh, tier to see how that goes too. So I just wanted to bring this little video out to you guys, just let you know this is what I've been using and this is what keeps me alive. Um, I hardly ever die, uh, to be honest, just because, like I said, uh, this, the Aether Shout, just keeps me alive. Like, it's almost hard to die unless you just activate it too late and you're already getting beat up, you know? So... I definitely would recommend everyone using this if you either like to revive people or you get caught in situations where you need to get out of really quick. Um, I did notice that there is a, I don't know if this is a glitch or actually something like legit, but when you're actually in the portal like where everything is night, um, I've activated this and zombies were still able to like find me and see me. So I don't know if this is completely useless during that phase or if it's a glitch in the game. Um, it doesn't happen all the time, but it does, ha I have had it happen to me and then it doesn't happen to me. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm not sure if you guys also have that problem. If you guys know why, just leave a comment and let me know if, I don't know if it's because I shot and they instantly know where I'm at or something or I, I don't, I honestly have no idea. So if you guys know what's going on with that, let me know, just comment down and that way I, I can know. So that way I can, you know, play better and stuff like that. But um, yeah, if this video was helpful at all, you know, like I said, uh, the 80 revives, you know, was crazy all thanks to pretty much this right here. So if you find this video helpful at all, let me know if you guys try it out and if you like it or if that's like something you like to rock with. And then also, if you guys um, are playing 
with these other ammo mods let me know what you guys think about that like i said i might consider these two but i just feel like brain rot's the best it just kills things while i can kill other things you know but i will try this too and then yeah let me know what weapons you guys are using too you know i was thinking about using the sniper but i don't know i just i'm not sure if i just want to snipe the whole game you know it's just not fun to me i mean i just kind of use whatever i get out the box you know like obviously when i got those 80 revives i did use a three round burst pistol just because when i pulled it out it was already triple uh triple uh, it was like a purple upgrade or something like that so all i needed was legendary to make it maxed and that thing was hidden man like that with two with double a pack like i was just running around stomping and the movement speed from the pistol my god it's so fast like it's so worth it like i was literally running around the whole map back and forth like reviving kids like it was just really nice you know being able to have that mobility of being super fast but also being able to kill things too but yeah that's all i got for you guys right now you know i just wanted to make this video thought it'd be cool to talk about since i learned some new things while you know playing with it and you know if any of this information you know helped you uh, leave a like you know subscribe I'm only two away from a hundred right now so you know that's gonna be pretty cool I'm really excited to get that triple digit mark and you know comment down if you feel like any of this helped you or you're working with anything you like me to like like me to test out and I can let you know what I think about um, but yeah I appreciate you guys thank you so much for viewing liking and subscribing you know I appreciate all support and uh, yeah I'll get at you guys tomorrow thanks bye